Monday, start of another weekend. Man, it's two minutes into the day. And this day is already getting started off on some bullshit. I come outside, uh, both vehicles have been rummaged through. Our own damn fault, we both left the vehicles unlocked. My wife's car door is wide the fuck open. You would figure a 2022 vehicle would automatically lock. Guess that's not a thing. And uh, nothing taken, I mean, we don't keep anything in the vehicle. I got an air compressor for a, like a battery charger air compressor. Fuck. They don't take anything though, it's crazy. I guess they're just looking for money for crack. But that got me started off on the wrong foot. Peeling tires like freaking Bo Duke, Dukes of Hazard, leaving from the neighborhood. Fuck the construction company, all that good shit. Damn, I'm trying to keep it positive. It is always something though. Always something. Anyways. What are you going to do, right? Like I said, Monday on my way to go pick up Damon. Uh, just hoping for a productive day today. I was kind of, kind of hyped up for today. Starting off before I walked out the door and all that good shit. Um, I know I'm going to get the grout going today. I know I'm going to get that flooring done in that laundry area. Maybe get some primer paint on that living room. So outside of that, uh, anything extra would be a plus. Supposed to be doing landscape today. That's not going to happen. We got wind again on this Monday, just like we did last Monday, except last Monday I had to go to court for Brian, but wind was the excuse. Uh, supposed to be better days tomorrow, and then Wednesday it's supposed to be 70. I didn't think we had any more 70 degree weather coming our way, but we do. And I think Wednesday and Thursday are supposed to be in the 70s. I'd like to get the house, the exterior done of the house, at least in terms of pressure washing. Let's get the water play out of the way on what could potentially be the last warm day. So, let me get out of my little feelings real quick. Go pick up Damon and I'll share with you guys in a little while. Alright, 7.30 in the morning. Just getting over here and kind of Groundhog's Day. Same thing. Start in this front room. Sand what needs to be sand. And definitely get the primer coat. We're ready for primer coat up in here. Make sure we get that closet upstairs sanded as well um, and get the primer coat in there too on the ceiling at least i think the walls have already been painted i'm sure they have i'm gonna probably start here this yeah gosh I'm like, well what one thing sorry i'm gonna get this floored um whether i start here or not uh maybe and then i'm gonna do the grout in the bathroom as well so how my feet looking? I think we're good to go. Oh yeah. Nice floor. Nice floor. Cool deal. Everything is the way it should be. I'm, put, I'm just worried about like that. But seems to be good. Alright, good deal. So I'll get this grouted. Probably gonna hop on that uh Shit, I don't know. Maybe I ought to just do that first. Get that out of the way. Grout and that floor to start the day off. So let's get on it. All right. All right. Bright and early with the grout. Yeah, man. That's that good, good right there. All right. Let's put that right there. And let's get ready to rock and roll. So I'm feeling a little more confident with the grout considering this is uh, the third time in like two weeks that I've been messing with grout. So I should go pretty good with this, right? You would hope. Bag of spacers, pick those up, and my trusty rusty bucket of water. So you guys told me, he said, hey Joe, just wipe as you go like taking a shit. Ah, old knees, no good. So yeah, man. I guess I will listen to listen to what you guys say and do it the way that you suggest. There were some comments that said that my tile work looked like shit. I know you I know you're lying. Oh you lying, ain't you? Everything perfect still? How how are my lines looking? I said my lines were all jacked up. Stop playing, man. I do this professionally. Uh, what, comment? Comment on YouTube videos? Are you a professional critic? 
I think that's such a thing. <sighs> All right. So, oh, a little bit of grout right there, a little bit of grout right there. All right. Somebody also said, get it wet, Joe. Hey, it always goes better when it's wet, though. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, should have cleaned out this water. Yeah, probably should. Probably should. So it ain't too dirty. Get it wet, Joe. Hey, get that shit wet. Get that money wet, though, boy. Other people said, Joe, pull up your pants. You're not in prison anymore. Advertising. Free samples. Like a fucking bake sale. Huh? Ah. To justify the sagging comment, I don't do it to be cool. I just can't afford food. There's that grout right there. Nice and thick, right? Nice and thick. Get that thick shit up in there, Joe. Hey, pound that. Ground and pound. Get the ground and pound going on. Oh, yeah. Get the ground and pound. go. Some may say, Joe, that grout's a little wet. Ah. I thought it was tight. thought it was a lot tighter. But as you can see, I'm sparing no detail. I'm not, I'm not sparing the grout at all. Uh, I anticipate this grout is going to go real fast in terms of how long it's going to take me to get it done. I got plenty of grout and it is my hope to really lay that grout up in, that, up in those little crevices just like so. looks about as wet as when Matt did it. Does it? How would you know? Were you there? <laughs> Shit, grab the fun part. All right, 8.49 in the morning and bingo. Just got done doing the grout and tried to wipe it as much as I possibly could. Um, but it's definitely gonna need a lot more wiping, right? A couple of things real quick, couple of things. So this is the same color grout that we used on the downstairs bathroom and this shit don't even look the same color. It's almost a tan 
gray versus the darker gray that we had downstairs. And again, I, I say that that goes to, you know, trying to do any kind of touch up. You don't know what color that shit's gonna come out like. It might say that it's gray or some kind of a gray, but it always seems like it's not exactly the same every time. It looks good, I actually like this gray a lot better. Um, but that's probably just because I'm biased. I'm the one who's done it. And yeah, just hoping, hoping that this comes out looking really good when it's all said and done. Only time will tell, but for the time being, I've got that first bit of, well, I've got the grout in there. I've got the first wipe on it. I'm gonna let it set up for a good little while. I don't even really want to get rid of my grout. I almost want to leave that just in case I need it, right? I'm gonna hold on to that. I'm gonna shake that up, hold on to that. Come back in about 30 more minutes, wipe this down again. And in the meantime, I'm heading over to the next room. I'm gonna work on flooring. And knock this shit out real quick. This ain't nothing right here. Uh, Damon's downstairs sanding and that's about it. 8.49 in the morning, we're getting the day off. <laughs> I like to say on a good note, but it started off fucking horrible. But aside from that, hey, we're getting busy over here in this house. So let's keep that momentum going. 10.50 in the morning and boy are my knees tired. Damn, my knees are tired. I haven't spent this much time on my knees since never. Um, so what do we got going on? 10.50 in the morning and let me show you where we're at. Okay, uh, first of all, bing. I should have cleaned it off before showing it to you. Yeah. Focus on anything, camera. So there should be. Flooring is in. And if that doesn't look nice, I don't know what does. Transition strip right there. Uh, transitioning over to carpet. Quarter round around the base. I know, I know. Oh, Joe, that's the lazy way to do it. You should have took the baseboard off first. Well, the baseboard was there, and I wasn't taking the baseboard off, okay? So there's that. Also, uh, second round of wiping the grout, and bingo. It doesn't look perfect. There are a couple of little spots, but let me tell you something, folks. It's so close to perfect, that I'll accept those few beautiful blemishes. Yeah, man, that looks shit hot. Somebody told me, Joe, you weren't square coming out your door. Uh, yeah, you know, the room's not square and uh, that's just how we ended. So if I would have made it square, well, you know, that gap would have been like a half inch on one side. All right, so damn, man, got flooring done in one room, uh, flooring done in another room, and how much flooring have we used so far? So we used three and a half boxes. I'm really concerned about waste. And here is, I don't want to call this waste because a lot of these can be starter pieces right here. I uh, probably wasted two pieces. And when only nine pieces come in a box, two pieces is too many. Uh, and really it was just by me making some bonehead cuts moving too fast. And we still got all that flooring left. And all we got to do now is just the downstairs. So hopefully that's enough flooring to do the entirety of the downstairs. I don't know, man. I'm going to be cutting it kind of close. Uh, somebody said about my tile work, they said, Joe, you did it wrong because Matt did it on the half and you didn't do it on the half. I didn't do it on the half. Doing it on the half is what I think... I think it's not the it's not recommended. I'm not gonna say it's wrong, but it's definitely not recommended. It's recommended to be done on the third. And I think the reason why it's not recommended is because it's harder to get the tiles to be level. I think that's the case with that. So what am I getting ready to do? I have no freaking idea. I could do flooring in that back laundry room. I could work on this kitchen, which I probably really need to do. I could get ready for flooring in this room, which is very close to being ready. Oh, and by the way, Damon is in here painting. And folks, it's starting to look like a new room in here. It ain't there yet. It's got a long way to go. But he's got the ceiling uh, primed. He's getting ready to prime the walls. And when the walls get primed, yeah, it's really going to look like a, a brand new room up in here. 
I also want to start loading shit up out of uh, out of the house. We got things in here that we don't need. Pre-mixed thin set. Who the fuck uses that? I probably should have. I mean, should have had it. I don't know why I didn't use it. Um, we got plenty of stuff in here that we're not using anymore that we don't need. Uh, we're pretty much done with big time sanding so we can get that type of shit up out of here. It's time to start moving out, folks. Moving out so the new folks can move in. Hey, I thought that the lady next door was selling her house because they were doing a home inspection on it. And turns out, <laughs> well, either, well, a number of things could have happened from that. So let's, let's discuss. So last week there was a home inspection that was done on her house. She's got her house listed for uh, 209 I want to list this one for 265 or 279 not sure. Uh, it's going to be up there, though. So I'm hoping she gets every bit of 209 for hers. Hers is a three-bedroom, one-bath. This is a... On paper, this is a 3-2, but it's really a 4-2. Um, you got to have closets in your rooms for it to be considered a bedroom. There are There's a room or two up there that doesn't have a closet. Maybe a room. Uh, but nobody's going to be thinking about that. They're going to be thinking, hey, that's another bedroom right there. Uh, but anyways, so she had the home inspection last week. Maybe she had a potential buyer on the line. Uh, maybe a lot of shit came up with the home inspection. And... Uh, I don't know. Maybe that that buyer fell through. She wasn't willing to make the repairs. Maybe it was too much needed, uh, and the buyer pulled out. Who the hell knows? But all I do know is, then would tell me that we buy homes is right back over there today. So maybe it was them who ordered the home inspection so that they could try to finagle her out of you know that that price that she's asking for, or maybe they're over there because whoever she was gonna sell the house to who did the home inspection pulled out, and. uh I'm going to be curious to know what that house goes for. That house isn't going to make or break anything with this house. That's an outdated house. It's a 3-1. It doesn't have HVAC. This house is fully renovated. It's got HVAC and it's bigger. So, there is all of that. All right. Uh, Damon's going to be doing that uh, painting and I'm going to be trying to figure out what the fuck I'm going to do. Huh. What am I going to do? All right. Uh... 12.55, just getting back from lunch and getting ready to get back on this kitchen. And here's where I'm at, folks. Working on hardware. Those handles look kind of extra, if you ask me. But hopefully they'll be good. All right, so I tried to fix the leaky little piece on the garbage disposal on the sink. I did that earlier. I was fighting with this and you know trying to get measurements and where i was going to put all this stuff and getting the laser level lined up on this to make sure where i'm putting this at is perfect the problem is is well you can see the angle right there just how unperfect those cabinets are and brian uh not brian matt did that uh, fuck Matt at this point everything he touched he ruined he destroys lives. He's like a he's like heroin at this point folks. He's fucking horrible. So yeah Sorry It's kind of bugging me a little bit. All right, I'm uh Gonna get back to work Damon's. Oh, yeah, let me show you the front room y'all. So boom boy It's so bright and I mean it looks like a brand new room in here folks Joe with that level 5 finish Damon with that paintwork Man, the shit just comes together and it it just looks right, man. It looks right. And wait until you see that. That's going to be in the next couple of days. We'll have that sucker squared away. So, yeah. Let me get back on this kitchen. And I'll get with y'all in a little bit. Real quick, a little, little food for thought. Just thought that I've been thinking about sporadically throughout the day as I've been looking for stuff that Brian was putting away yesterday when he was high as giraffe nuts over here. Um... Hey, don't let a guy work with you who's high as fuck because he'll put stuff in like the most random places. I found a paintbrush in the gutter, for God's sakes. You know, so to speak, not literally, but like shit is just so all over the place. And he also jacked up my wall right here. I'm not very happy about this. Um, that freaking divot right there? Yeah, Brian did that. I think he was trying to put his, put his blunt out in my wall. Yeah, I don't know. All right, so anyways, uh, not sure what the time is. Let's check that real quick. It is 2 o'clock, son of a bitch. What have I gotten done? So I've been in here, bing, working on these handles. I'm going to be honest with you. One of those is off, and I think it's the middle one. 
Um, but I can fix it because I just had one that was off up here and I fixed that. It was actually that guy right there. So boom, doing these and using the old laser level to help. So there we go. We got the laser level. Yeah. All right. So I've got in one, two, three, four, five, six handles in. I mean, six poles in. I still got two more poles to do down there. One more pull for the lazy Susan. I got to fix that. I knocked it off the track the other day trying to fix that countertop. I need to fix that uh, pole right there. That's just a little off. She's just a little off. It is. Oh shit, I thought it was the middle one. Yeah, it is the middle one. The middle one is over just a little bit because if you see it from this side, yeah, you see the gap. Just a little baby gap right there. I mean, it's not even, it's not even freaking noticeable for you. But I notice it and I don't like that. All right, so anyways, uh, I gotta do those, I gotta do those, and I got some cabinets over here I gotta mess with. But before I even get to that, isn't there like another one? I thought we had like more drawers I guess we don't um, real quick so one of the things that Matt struggled with with me was trying to do this build out in this kitchen hey man uh, you know just put me a little encasement up here because you know we just got to box this in we got to box this in make it look good so he did it he finally did it and he finally got it okay however what he did was is you know he didn't take that ca cabinet into consideration and i'll take the blame for that i should have known i didn't see it at the time i see it now so i won't put all of this blame on matt but if he was any type of a carpenter he would have checked this and where does it need to be level from it's i think it's level yeah it's level from there to there right so that's not an issue the issue is if you look at the microwave the microwave See that little gap right there at the bottom of the microwave? And then down here, there is no gap. Little gap, no gap. Little gap. So basically, you can see the end of the microwave. The bottom of the microwave basically runs with that. It runs with that. And then wait a minute, why does it go boom up like that? It's not even that noticeable, but I am a stickler for perfection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make more of a build out down just a little bit. Just a little, it's probably only three quarters of an inch. That's probably all I need right there. I could probably get away with this. Let's check three quarters. So three quarters is all I need right there. Just give me the three quarters. And that'll get me pretty much what I, I want. And then right here, I need to bring that down three quarters of an inch and then probably fur it out up top. I know, is it doing too much? Is, does that come into play like damn Joe just leave it alone it's not that bad it is that bad to me it is so I'm gonna get on that and uh, see what I can make happen with that as I'm doing all of this you know final touch up shit so I can get cleaned up in here get all of this stuff up out of here then I'm going to uh, figure out these end pieces get the stove pushed back in I've already got the dishwasher pushed in I gotta put my, uh, my mounting brackets, brackets up there I gotta put a little piece up there for that Put my toe kick boards. I'll do that after we've done the flooring though. Caulk, replace these receptacles, paint this, clean this up, get that hangy do up in there. I think by tomorrow, we could really be far on this kitchen in terms of getting this buttoned up and then working toward uh, getting flooring going in here. So hopefully, hopefully that's gonna work out. We'll see. All right, let me get on this and see what I can make happen. All right, almost done up in this kitchen. So let me show you where we're at. Three o'clock in the afternoon, Damon just left. Um, really getting this hardware in here. I think I've showed you guys that already. Uh, yeah, so boom, I, I made the adjustment here. I put a, a, a one by four right there, four and a quarter by 12. Uh, you know, a one by three quarters, so. That was exactly what I needed. So that one by gets the microwave right at the bottom. That's perpendicularly perfect. I think that's perfect. And then right there, boom. Uh, if you can see that line on the wall, well, you, you probably can't. So I dropped the cabinet down to that line right there. And I was going to put a little build out up there, uh, but it's freaking level straight across there. So I'm not going to do anything there. Yeah. So anyways, uh, working on these final couple of poles 
and handles down here one more handle three more pulls and then i'll have two more pulls i gotta put up there i i, I still got that door off i've caulked that up i got my touch up paint and i probably i'm not getting to that till tomorrow so tomorrow we'll do the touch up paint this needs to be sanded this looks like shit uh fix it up top as well and hope to god that that touch up paint is what it is so what i forgot was uh, we got landscape tomorrow as well like i said last week oh god these freaking old legs like i was saying last week uh how can i put you guys Yeah, like I was saying last week, that landscape is getting in the fucking way right this second. As we're attempting to get this house done, that landscape is definitely getting in the way. All right, one more pull. I hate putting these pulls on. These pulls are such a pain in the ass. What we got? We got 29 and a half right there. Where's my last pull at? So 29 and a half. Uh, where would the middle of that be with a five? Ah, uh, so 13, I get 13 inches on that side, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and a half. Uh, so if I come over to 12, uh, if I come over to 11 and a half, does that, uh, let's go to 12. So 12 is that, and then 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve and a half. So I need to come over a quarter right there. So sixteen and three quarters and eleven and three quarters. And that there, folks, is how Joe's dyslexic ass, special needs and all that, finds the center it's actually quite i'm like fucking goodwill hunting you know what i mean kind of not really all right boom so that shit is perpendicularly perfect right there then we look at where the holes are and then we go okay there's where the holes are and we just put a little mark right there a little mark all right oh shit i gotta make sure that's the bottom too fuck um, yeah, that should be good. I'll just come up a little bit on that. And that should be, that should be good, right? Should be good. We'll hope it's good. Let me, let me measure that one time. I'm sitting here trying to show off for y'all and I might fuck something up. So what do I got there? I got, uh, open it up so I can get a good true measurement here. I got uh, 12 and 3 quarters, and I got uh, 12. What? So that's wrong as fuck, Joe. 12 and 3 quarters, and on that side you're at 11 and 3 quarters, kind of. So that's a whole inch difference. So I need to be at a, about 12, 12 and a quarter. Let me try 12 and a quarter real quick. Bear with me, folks. I think we might have solved the case here. Okay, 12 and a quarter right there. And then where's that gonna put me at? All right, 12 and a quarter is gonna put me right there. You scratch that guy out that's no good scratch that guy out that's no good all right let's see what that is you're trying a quarter and oh, 12 and a quarter and that <laughs> is how my dyslexic ass really finds the truth the truth what is the truth uh so folks my birthday is on saturday now hear me out you ain't got to get me nothing. I know I've been, I've been talking about that, but I'm only kidding. I'm only busting your balls. Breaking your balls. Whichever one is 
more comfortable. And, uh, you know, I'm about to be 39 years old. And my wife is planning this little party for me. And I said, you know, I, it, I really don't want this party. I don't have any, many, any friends, for real. I mean, I do have a few friends. Connor, uh, my neighbor, I like my neighbor. Good guy. Um, and then some of my wife's friends, husbands. I, li I like them guys. They're good people. It's supposed to be Friendsgiving, right? My birthday's on Saturday. So it's supposed to be Friendsgiving. That's what I wanted. I didn't want this to be about me. I'm so selfless. <laughs> I mean, but the deal is, is my wife's birthday's also right around the corner. My birthday's on Saturday. Well, hers is on the 25th, whatever day that falls on. I think that's, uh, shit, I, I don't even know. I didn't even know my birthday was on Saturday until my wife was telling me about it. But, uh, come on, Joe. Can you get it in the hole? It always seems to be a difficulty for you. So anyways, yeah, we're having this Friendsgiving thing and it's a slash birthday party for, for me and I don't really like that, you know? Uh, I, don't, I don't feel like I deserve that, to be honest. I don't deserve anything. And I know that's a little self-loathing and uh, all that good stuff. But I'm, anyways, I'm getting ready to be 39 years old. Let's just get to that point. So, I'm, I'm sharing this with you guys because today I did the tile, the, the grouted the tile in the bathroom, and then I just did like a freaking, like 64 square feet of, of LVP. Nothing all that crazy. And yo, my, and I had knee pads on. And yo, my knees are so fucking swollen right now, I literally tried to get down on my knees. Not like that. Over there doing the hardware over there. And I couldn't, and that's when I realized that I got like fluid in my knees. Like I'm, my knees are swollen. 39 years old. You know, in millennial years, that's like 60. I guess. How I feel. Okay, let's go ahead and take the panties off. Proverbially speaking. Yeah, man. I can't believe I'm getting this fucking old. And it's hurting me so bad. Okay. There's that guy right there. Oh God, it hurts so bad. So bad. These old, these old bones. They ain't getting no younger. You ever wonder like how old you'll live to? I think about that sometimes. Sometimes I feel like I've long exceeded my life expectancy. Joe, what the fuck are you talking about? Ah, God damn. This one is just not wanting to cooperate. Well, I don't understand why that one is being so freaking difficult. Uh. Alright, let me wrap this up and I'll get with you in a minute. Yeah, that's what I thought, bitch. 3.34 in the afternoon and... Oh, shit. Can't wipe the lens like I did the GoPro. That don't work. 3.34 in the afternoon and I'm getting ready to get the F up out of here. So I got as much hardware done up in here as I could. Um, gonna need to do some touch-up painting. And yeah, just keep working my way around this kitchen. We gotta do landscape tomorrow, so that's gonna take up a good part of the day. But come back, work on this, and hope that, uh, hope that, whew, I don't even know what to say, I'm so tired. Hope that um, we can get to a point where this kitchen is damn near done tomorrow uh, and ready for flooring. <laughs> ah, damn. 
That's the hope at least. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up for the day. I'm freaking exhausted. My knees feel like they got a bunch of fluid in them. God bless it. Is it my birthday already? That's crazy. Hey, thank you for taking the time to rock with me on this thing. I look forward to continue to show you guys and share with you the progress from over here. And I am hopeful and confident that after this week, this house is damn near done. I've been saying that for four months now. But now I can actually see the end somewhat. It's going to be a crazy week this week. Pressure washing, exterior work to a certain degree, all the while trying to continue on the inside. Um, I'm able to do the flooring while Damon's doing other things, so that is really helpful, like painting and things like that. But again, hopefully by the end of this week, you guys are really impressed and seeing the end of the line as I'm trying to do myself. Have a great one. Thank you for taking the time, and I look forward to sharing with you guys more tomorrow.